Hello everybody, this is Steve Rizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in a project in Adobe Premiere Elements. It's a pretty elaborate project. It's got a number of video clips. Some of those video clips have audio. And we've added a music track too, but we want to record some narration. Now, of course, it's possible to record your narration in a third-party program, and often that's the way I work. I work in a, an audio-only program where I record and perfect my narration, then bring it in and add it as a, an audio clip to my timeline. But you can also record narration right in the program. To do that, I'm going to put the playhead approximately where I want my narration to begin. And then I'm going to go to the toolbar along the right-hand side and click on the tools. Here in the tools, under the audio category, we'll find the option for adding narration. Now you'll notice that as I'm speaking, my voice is not registering here on the VU meter. That's a sign that for some reason the program has not properly configured the microphone to record the audio of your narration. And that's a little bit of a problem. But I'll show you how to fix that too. Click Done. And then let's go over to our preferences. If we're on a Mac, the preferences are off to the left of the program. On a PC, if you go under the edit menu, you can find your preferences right here. And we'll go right to audio hardware. And on the audio hardware page, we will find a listing here for default inputs and outputs. Notice it says no input for some strange reason. We're gonna change that to the microphone that I have plugged in. Don't worry about this, just click yes. And that really should do it. So let's click okay. Now, when I open up my narration, there is my microphone registering just as it should, and we're all set to go. But before we begin our narration, we do want to make sure that we're not hearing audio from our movie. I know some people like that. I don't like it. I think I get weird feedback. You'll also hear yourself recording almost like an echo. That drives me absolutely bananas. Maybe if you're wearing a headset, it's a little bit different. But when I'm working with the speakers on my computer, I want to mute the audio coming from my movie as I'm recording. You notice there's a checkbox right here, mute audio while recording, that never ever works. <laughs> so what I would recommend you do is go right to your computer settings and just turn your volume all the way down or I just press the mute button on my keyboard here or turn it all the way down. Now I'm all set to go. Okay, so I'm ready to record. When I click the record button, you'll notice I get like a little bit of a countdown, a three, two, one countdown before it actually begins recording. This has been the summer of Jason's life. And we'll stop it. You notice when I stop it, the project assets panel pops open. That's just to tell me that the audio track from my narration has been added. It's now among the library of clips being used in the projects. We'll just close that. And there it is on my timeline. And I can play it back. But before I do, of course, I have to remember to turn my audio back on for my computer. We're going to hear the music too. So I'm gonna just mute the music temporarily so we only hear the voice. This has been the summer of Jason's life. That's great. Now, if for some reason I don't like it, all I need to do is move the playhead back again and jump to the beginning of that narration track. And I can do that. If just, I'm just gonna open up the narration panel again. You can see that I can jump using these jump buttons here right to the very beginning or very end of any clip. So I'm gonna to go to click the next button and that'll move the playhead right to where I left off. And we're gonna re-record that same audio and you'll see it will overwrite what's here. So if I didn't like it the first time, I can do it the second. Before we do, let's make sure we mute our audio. Okay, and go. This has been the summer of Jason's life and stop and you can see that we now have voice and now we have voice one and if we look down here at my timeline voice has i'll zoom in on it for you has been replaced by voice one so this is the new recording that we just did a moment ago and once again we'll unmute and then play this has been the summer of jason's life all right so it nicely overwrote the old audio that's all there is to recording narration in Premiere Elements. If you want to know more tips and tricks about using this wonderful program, I hope you check out all the tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know every single thing about every tool in the program, the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements is available at amazon.com. I'm the author, Steve Grizzetti, and I hope to see you again real soon.